Hello everybody, um, so people were asking quite a lot about um, making a quick video on how to actually do the fan mod. Um, not so much actually the changing of the fans and more just flashing of the actual server. So um, I spent the last couple of hours just working out a set of commands to use to actually do it um, without needing to Without, without having any problems, I guess. Um, so I finally got it down to a set that actually makes sense. So I've made a on our fast download server. Uh, I've created a new folder, so that everything's here, and we've got the live DVD, which you can use the firmware package for the twenty nine hundred, and the instructions. So if we go into the instructions, then we're basically saying boot off this disk which I've given you um, and there's a link to the folder in this again and I'll put a link to this to this file in the description of the video um, and then each of these commands you basically just copy paste them into the terminal and click yes to everything that asks and then uh, so when you run this command here, oh, sorry, this should not be there. Um, I'll remove that. So the when you run this command here, it pops up a dialog box. Well, not so much a dialog box, but like a text input kind of thing. Um, so there's a list of different um, servers there, and some of them are labeled, and some of them aren't. Um, for this particular server, for the 2900, um, I find that one, the first option, um, is the correct one. Um, but you can figure it out um, quite easily, because you can run um, IPMI, so like this, IPMI-sensors, and that will list the different sensors that are in your system and if you scroll up you can see how many fans it says it is and then you can work out from that um, which which one it is um, so then you set the fan speeds using that uh, that then saves it back again and then if you run through to the end then this is the flash command so <coughs> um, when you run this it um, or at least from when I've done it, it just asks you if you're sure you want to do it. Uh, then it uh, raises it and then flashes it, which takes about um, probably about 60 seconds or something. And then your fans will, I think they turn off and then they kind of rev quite highly, it then checks it and then they go back down again to, you know, like idle. Um, and then it should have worked, hopefully. <laughs> and if it hasn't worked, then you can try changing, you can go back to to this step and run it again, and you can try changing another one of the, um, another one of the, the um, profiles, I guess, until you find the right one, and just keep trying this this process until you actually get the right one and it actually starts working. So it's actually quite simple and I had quite a few issues actually trying to get this guy to work. Um, mostly due to the fact that it was a live DVD we were using. Um, so I actually ended up having to install CentOS just on a little like very gig hard drive. So if you do have a lot of problems then I suggest maybe like just putting in a really small hard drive and then just installing it on that and then running the commands from that because I was I was having a lot of problems where the kernel would start panicking and then everything just broke or the um, it would say input output error and stuff like that it was, it was very weird um, no <laughs> uh, yeah so that was that was interesting but yes, so if anybody has any problems with this, then tell me, and I will have a look. Um, there's quite a lot of helpful advice 
Ugh. Why do people keep knocking? There we go. Uh, yes. So if you do a search for Power Edge, uh, then if you go to this website here, I'll put I'll put a link to this in the um, folder as well. Then, for some reason, it's taking ages to load. Interesting. Hello. Well, okay, I won't do that then. I'll put a link to it, and it's the main project page for this. So, it's got the original guide on how to do it. Um, oh, here we go. So, um, but this this is telling you how to do it in Ubuntu, and it doesn't really transfer over to other things, and it doesn't really work anymore. So, if you go down to the bottom, there's actually a whole sh there's a massive amount of comments. Um, just explaining problems. So if you go in here and search for your error, then you should probably be able to find any problems that you have. Um, especially for like other systems. So there's people doing this for like 1950s and 2950s, 2850s, um, etc. So really, if you get stuck, go here and they might be able to help you. Uh, generally if you post a comment at the bottom uh, then someone will reply to it. He's pretty good at replying to stuff. Um, so there's obviously me saying about this. Um, apart from that, it's pretty much everything. So yeah, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to this in the, in the description and a link to here as well in that file. And that's everything. So have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>